Welcome to PowerPoint Shortcuts While Editing. This is Les McGarter from PowerUp Training. I've been working with PowerPoint and giving boardroom presentations for decades. And here are my favorite eight shortcuts. PowerPoints have hundreds of shortcuts, but these are the most useful ones I use that are dedicated to the editing phase of the slide deck creation process. So let's get going. I love PowerPoint outline mode. It is the most important first step you should take in creating your presentation. If you're not using outline view, see the above link to my expanded outline tutorial on YouTube. Outlines let you brainstorm your ideas quickly from the keyboard. So it's only appropriate that we can swap back and forth between the standard view and the outline view from our keyboard without reaching for the mouse. The command is a simple control shift tab, the three keys on the left side of your keyboards. Watch how quickly this happens going back and forth and back and forth. Number two is the new slide trick. This works whether you are in the outline or standard view, and your selector can be on the main edit window or on the left side. Create a new empty slide with Control M. The new slide will be right below the slide you're working from or have selected in the left side window, and it will have the same matching layout. In this example, it is duplicating the two content layout. Shortcut number three is duplicating a slide. The previous example created an empty new slide, but this one will create a duplicate, an exact copy of the slide and the contents that are highlighted. The requirement here is that you must be in the standard view and have the slide you want duplicated highlighted. Then just do a control D. See how we now have two exact copies of the same slide. Control D is for duplicate, while Control M is for new empty slide. Maybe you can remember M as in empty. Here's a bonus tip. Duplicating an object. Same Control D works differently if you have an object highlighted. See how the keyboard has been clicked and selected with the circles on the corner? Now a Control D will duplicate the selected keyboard object. Let's do that again by highlighting the text box and doing Control D to duplicate this text box. The next shortcut is grouping objects. Each object added to PowerPoint is considered an individual object, but you may add several to create a unified illustration. Problem is that if you move one objects, the other items do not follow. Watch as I select the keyboard. Note the corner selector indicators. Now, when I move the keyboard object, the circles don't follow. Let me go ahead and undo that. So we have them back to the right location. And now I'm going to use something called the lasso effect to be able to use my mouth and select all three objects, the two circles and the keyboard. They're all selected and you can see the individual selection items around each object. And now I'm going to do this special command, control G, and it groups them as a single object. And when I move them around, all three objects move around. Now to be able to undo that or to ungroup, we're going to use the command called control shift G. And now all three objects are independent. Again, we can click and move them as individual items. Our next shortcut will let us increase or decrease the viewing size of our page. And what we'll do is we'll go into the specific location that we want to change the view. And we're going to find that most modern mouses has a middle scroll wheel. And what you do is you hold down the control key and you can spin it up or down to increase or decrease the viewing zoom. This works in the standard area on the right side. It also works in your slide preview on the left side. And if you go down into your slide sorter view, you'll also work here. So those three spots will let you increase and decrease the zoom by holding down the control key and by rolling the middle mouse scroll wheel up and back for zooming. 
Here's a fix for an annoying problem. Often when you're inserting lines as objects inside PowerPoint, getting them just perfectly aligned as horizontal or vertical, or even a 45 degree angle when using a freeform mouse is almost impossible. But if you hold down the shift key and you then insert the lines, you're gonna be able to have it stay within rails as you insert your objects. Let's click on insert. We're gonna go over to shapes. I'm gonna choose a line. And now once I do that, I can start a point, hold down my shift key. And when I drag it to the right, you'll see it's perfectly in line compared to the line above. Let's do that again. We're going to insert. I'm going to choose another arrow. And this time when I do the starting point and I hold down the shift key, I can now drag and make a perfectly up and down line. Or if we do it again, insert, and we choose a line this time, we're going to find that if I dry it at a 45 degree angle when I hold down the shift key, even if my mouse is not perfectly following along, the line will follow that direction. Here's a bonus tip. Moving objects perfectly up, down, or sideways with small incremental steps using only the keyboard. Look at the unconstrained the movement is when I just use the mouse. However, if I select the item and use my keyboard arrows, I can perfectly move the objects in a channel, which is the up, down, left, and right keys. And now for our last shortcut, resizing objects around a central point. Typically, when you go in and resize an object, it grows, but it does not stay in the right spot. Watch when we hit the glasses. I'm going to resize this, and it's just making it grow towards the bottom and to the left, not in the original location. But what if we want to resize it and have it keep centered on a point? In this case here, all I need to do is hold down the control key as I grab one of the corners to resize the object. It will resize around the center point as opposed to just growing bigger in one direction. And with that, you just saw seven different shortcut tips, plus some bonuses that you can use while editing PowerPoint. If you want to download a free copy of this cheat sheet, go to our website of power-up.training or look for the links in the details below. Please use the bottom right subscribe red button icon to subscribe to Power Up Training. Subscriptions help greatly to build our channel. If you found this helpful, do like this video. Likes encourages me to make more free videos for you. Lastly, look at our YouTube channel or our website for more Power Up Training videos, including our free Becoming a PowerPoint Power User Masterclass. Until then, Go power up.